going. Um, waiting. Going. I'm waiting. We're going. I'm waiting now. We're going now. Waiting. We're doing this live. Hey everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, me and Hamish clearly have exactly the same tolerance for silence. Yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> where Simon was like, I could go all night, baby. <laughs> I'm waiting it out. This is, this is Simon's I'm waiting it out. This is Simon's average. This is this is yeah. a game for me. Okay. Um, this is a game. Yeah. How is everyone? How is everyone on oh this oh, wow. crisp and fresh wintry it's Monday? Cold. It's there, so we've yeah. reached the uh, complain about the cold season mm -hmm. of living in the UK. We've had the complain yeah. about it being too hot. And now we're on to... Now it's the too cold. too cold. I, I cycled to work this morning in four, oh. two degrees. Cycled home in four degrees. Uh, yeah, it was tasty. Oh, that's my. It was a very good wake up call on the way home, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, you start to feel dreary at the end of the day, and then you're like, oh. And your mustache cycling in the and cold. Your mustache stayed the way it is. Oh, mate, look, it is. It's been really behaving lately. Oh, I am, I am happy with the mustache. It's good. It, it is actually about training it. That's sad though, because uh, I have to blow dry it most days. <laughs> like, I have to curl it. Yeah. To get it like this, you have to. Do you have? It. Do you have a little mini, um, but hair? Mustache I have a round hair. brush. I have a round brush. Round brush. Oh wow! Uh, I should start up my OnlyFans, my Only Mustache fans scene. And, oh uh, wow! Like just show, just show everyone mustache styling content. Well, maybe we should um, yep. make a channel dedicated a channel yeah. on the Discord. A channel dedicated to mustaches. You too could have a mustache like. Simon. like this and well yeah. tri trips trips is very impressive trips coming along i mean trips been trimming here as i can tell yeah i have been i've been tidying it up a little bit um but it's still i'm still relatively early days with this whole mustache thing. yeah I mean, you, you've got to give it a time. year it's been a year now i think just over a year mine but is, it takes a lot of ed dedication mine's never coming this is this is, is that the most you can that's get? as far as it's going this is i am not I, i'm sadly not a mustache man, but then I've all, I, I've I've grown a pretty decent. It's bit. not for everyone. Not no, no, everyone I can really... be this glorious. No, all right, shut up. So let's get on. Let's get on. Let's move. What on. do we got to get on to? Well, is it is it on. time for some? No, let's do beer. You want to do beer? Okay, yeah, let's do some beer. Right. Okay. Hey, Mish. What are you drinking tonight? Well, Simon, I've went to the co-op and I have brought a Brewdog Wingman. Ooh. Oh, do you know what? That beer reminds me every time now oh. of um, Liverpool Liverpool Brewdog. Oh, right. Okay. Post, <laughs> post ramen, Liverpool Brewdog. Oh, oh yes. Uh, we always go to, we went to, we go to the ramen place and then we go to that Brewdog place every time. Yeah. The, the yeah. Two well, we went to a different ramen time. place this time, but. Yeah, but we would have. We've been there. twice, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just so convenient as well. And uh, Wingman is a very, very tasty. Uh, it's a very beer. good sessionable beer, is it? Pre prefer it Ooh. to um, Punk IPA for sure. Mm, it's it's much more pale ale than yeah, Punk. Yeah, I think it might actually be my favorite Brewdog beer because. And it's got great artwork as well. It does. Um, what about you, Simon? They released an. They released an online only uh, Wingman Tropical Storm, which oh, is like a hazy, a hazy IPA version. It was great. I like a tropical IPA. Um, I have also gone Brewdog. Surprise to no one. No um, <laughs> I've gone for the Aldi IPA. The Aldi. IPA. The Aldi IPA. Yeah. Oh, so they did a. IPA. They did the. They did the viral marketing thing, didn't they? Where. Aldi did an IPA that looked just like Brewdog's Punk IPA, and then Brewdog did this. Uh, I like, I, to be I, honest, I like that. I like it that I, they're just giving it back. I've never heard yeah. of that. That's pretty cool. That did you not? Cool. No, no, they, did, they awesome. did a whole marketing. It went back and forth on uh, on social media, and they it was all planned, I'm sure. But basically, you know Aldi and Lidl, they copy design, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, design yeah. keys, yeah. So they've done that with quite a lot of Brewdog beers and they came back and made this collaboration uh, session beer. That's really cool. What about you, Wildcard? Uh, yeah. Wildcard trip. Did you like it? I sent you the post. <laughs> yeah, I got the mat. Oh, it's up on the top of my... Um, yeah. Hamish sent me a mat um, and he put Dan Wildcard trip 
when Kate sent me the photo of it while I was at work, I was like, I know who that's from. Yeah. Uh, very Not cool. just any mat, though. Uh, top tier mat. I wish I could. I could stand up, but um, oh. you'll get to. He's not wearing any pants. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 the last uh, episode coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't. Oh. oh, has he? Oh no, he does. Listeners, if you listen to this on the audio, did you see my uh, pants? I saw your. Yeah, I saw your skin. My skin, yeah. I thought I, saw, you know, bit bit less for free. Uh, you got to join my OnlyFans. No, if you want no, no. Yeah. That's that's a different sort of skin. Uh, I got. I, <laughs> I, finally, I finally got this mat back because. Um, what is it, amazing. Simon? What is he holding up? That is the Art House Syndicate uh, commissioned Swarming Gloomvale artwork mat. Yeah, it's really cool. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it, pretty. It's pretty good. It was, I've always wanted it. It was passed on to Trip to, to give to Hamish. Yeah, and, and then, I didn't want to give it to him, and then and then I, I did, I, and then I got it because, because it Trip and I have got the erased face alternate artwork, haven't we? The thing is, I just love these this style of playmat that Art House Syndicate. I don't know where they yeah. got them made from. They are so thick; they are much thicker than the LSS ones. Trip and they've got the um. Stitched. The stitching, the stitch, yeah, oh. the stitching around the edges. Yeah, now, I, I love don't, it. I don't I love mind it. the thickness. I don't like the stitching. Oh, I love the stitch. I love it all, and I really like my raised face one. So I was like, oh, and Hamish yeah, was getting some mat, So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I got too many. Quite off. I can um, boy, anyway, I do need to do that. I'm now. You, hold on. Let's just get. Oh yeah, we haven't done the beer. Yeah. Jeez, I'm, 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 I'm thirsty, boy. But it's a classic for me. I've had it before. Is it the same I'll beer as, yes, as last week? We didn't notice you drink that one. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's. Oh, it is a, a, it is a London, dark beer though. It's London a London porter, porter everybody. Oh, okay. A very tasty, rich, dark, and complex beer. You need to put, oh. you need to put it more in front of your face for the YouTubers. There we yeah. go. Oh, that's how it should be presented. There we go. Like this. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, like, yeah. Like this. That's a forehead. Five head. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. The, the bottle's on his skin. It's on his forehead. Hide, We're going to call it a four anyway. <laughs> I was just I'm shaking my head for all those are, listeners yeah. on audio only. Okay, well, okay. Um, so you wanted to get clear some mats as well, Simon. I do, but I need to give it suitable space from your advertisement post, so I'm not going to hijack your post by putting up my mats. I'll give it a couple of weeks and see if I can do the same. Yeah, no, it's, 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 not, it's not moved much, I okay. will say. It's not moved terribly quick. We have some different mats. I don't know what I've got, but yeah, I, I need to dig them out. I, Anyway, li listeners do not need to hear about no, my Matt not. problems. But what they do need to hear um, about is some yes. partner news. News, bum, it's bum, not really news, bum. it's just doing a partner. Yeah, bit. just partners. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, well, would you like to talk about it or shall I, Hamish? Because I, I would like to talk about Thistle Tavern, our oh. Aberdeen-based single-seller store, who now have a bricks-and-mortar store as well. So, Hang on a sec. You can't say it like that. He's a Scott yeah, it's a, a Scottish, Scottish single-seller. Single well, you do that bit. I don't do that no, bit. Go on, say it, Simon. Say it. Oh, say it. <laughs> <laughs> say the line, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> a, 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 a Scottish single-seller, sure. No one told you to do the voice. No. Um. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so we've got a Scottish single seller store based in Aberdeen, Thistle Tavern, and uh, patrons get a ten percent off singles discount code. Yeah, we have the most wonderful metal fab tokens, uh, oh. which for which Hamish can sort you out some UK Royal Mail prices. I can, and if you haven't seen some of the new tokens for the uh, like the Osaka Worlds event, by the way. We're, Awesome, yeah. awesome. New I haven't tokens. got, I haven't got them yet. But when I do, patrons know first. But then, if if they're not interested, it goes out further. And we also have a partnership with PCG Grading UK. Yeah, we do. Uh, so if you're a patron, you can use your monthly subscription fee uh, towards a voucher every quarter, up to three months in a row, for PCG UK. Yeah. So how much does it cost to be a patron trip? Nothing. It's free. Sorry. There you go. It's free, Simon. <laughs> <Just your bit. laughs> it's nothing. It's free. Because you get your money back up to um, £5 a month. 
uh, to spend on getting your cards graded, which can there you go. can increase the uh, the value of your cards. So you could even say that you you can make a profit out of being a push to point patron. Some have said it, and they're smart people. <laughs> people. Do you know what else we do for patrons, Trip? What? No, I don't, Simon. We also do a Wheel of Fortune. Oh, we did the wheel. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I've pre-spun the wheel. We could pretend that I'm spinning it, but I actually got ahead of the game and I spun the wheel. Now, Hamish knows who won. And it is quite a coincidence. And I want to ask you, Simon, who do you think has won? Name is famously in the news at the moment. Push the point, patron. Name in the news. Who could it be? <laughs> Name in the news. Name in the news. <laughs> it's Jacob Clement. Yay! Oh. It's too slow. Amazingly, Jacob Clement, who just won a bloody calling, uh, Florence, I want to say. Florence. Uh, he just won the bloody packs. Wow. So I mean, I know which one week. he will value more. Yeah, the packs. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's the packs. Anybody can win a bloody call. Absolute fact. Um, yeah. But only push the point patrons can win the wheel. No. Uh, uh, all right. If you so just, there you uh, go. Well done, Jacob. Uh, if it looked yeah, like well my done. face just went into some sort of blank terror <laughs> mode. <laughs> Your because, face. It, well, it's not because of Jacob. And the, you will hear two xbox notifications oh. in this episode i'm not doing anything about it but i have free frantically ran and turned off all notifications i have this oh, has no. never happened before so what what are you playing what you did playing it notify you of it was just are you I, playing I, your xbox at the I'm same not, time no, as look, look, hands, hands free point. hands free so it's no, I don't know um, why. It's, my, compu my computer decided it's just going to notify me. Someone give me an, an invite, and it's never done that in our eighty six. Well, there you episode. go. Eighty six. Eighty six. Would you believe? Getting I'm, close. I'll never get. You're never getting that time back. No. no. So what are we going to talk about on? Oh, we got to do home news. Home oh, news. sorry, Harry. Home news. Home news. You guys can clap. For some reason, it doesn't pick that up. Only it didn't I pick up your claps on my side as well. No, was... only a only I may clap. Da, 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 only da, Hamish da, may clap. Da, 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 da. That's a Simpsons way. <laughs> <laughs> only I may do the dance. <laughs> okay, okay. Hamish, okay. what have you been up to this week? Well, I've got. I'll give you the up the up the the finale of the um for sex saga. saga. Yeah. Oh. It didn't work. Yeah. No, it did. <laughs> it's a twist. Whoa. You are sterile. I You're am, officially sterile. Um, it literally come back as a letter saying, Jaffa. <laughs> That's not what it said. That's <laughs> officially not what it said. <laughs> That's what you said. Love, wow. love, love, doctor. <laughs> P.S. How? Anyway, no. I didn't write you that letter. Um, no, you didn't. No, <laughs> I'm. No. I'm Congratulations for your newfound sterility. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Um, it's. Um, I can't wait to test it out. So we, other than that, I've not really been doing an awful lot apart from just cracking on. That's trying... that's take that's taking off all of cracking your. Cracking on, not cracking off. No. Um. Now. Uh, no. I've just. Um. I've just been. Sorting the house out, really. Um, my, mm. my bathroom's almost get it. It's literally. How's your new double Um uh, Well, the toilet works now, but it's not done. Good. Yet. Still um. got to do. It's we're on we're on the final hurdle. Um, and that is it. What about you, Simon? What's your home news? Uh, we've finished the building and decorating work that was going on for the kids' bedroom. So the kids are all moved back into their bedrooms. Do they like it? They love it. They love it. It's great. Yeah. Um, and they are also very excited because we are getting some new additions tomorrow. What? You're giving another kid? We're getting. Oh, oh no, you cats. can't, can you? Oh, yeah. You're getting, oh, you're getting a what? No. You're getting a cat? We're getting, we're getting kittens. Oh, oh, amazing. Why? So we are. Uh, tell me, Pamish, you tell me. No, uh, Simon. Because. Simon, you're the, you're the man yeah. of the house. Put. <laughs> I have been outvoted. Um, oh, of course, you get out. I know. I fun. know. I'm going to be one of those grumpy dads who's going to be like, 
I'm best friends with the cats. That. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to end up like anymore. loving them to bits. The reason I didn't want cats again is because we had two cats before and they passed away, uh, but they weren't that old. One of them got hit by a car and one of them had some kidney problems. And that was six years ago now. And I am still a bit I'm still a bit like, oh, I don't I don't know if I want to go through that again. But we're getting some rescue kittens. We're getting a black kitten called Lucifer. Right. And we're getting a and we're getting a black and white kitten called Diablo. Okay. <laughs> Right, that sounds like a good start. That's going to be little great. devils, yeah. They're right. going to go all over your keyboard while you do the podcast, though. Simon. You've got to show... I mean, yeah. I, can, I can in future show them on the podcast. Oh, well. We'll have Cat Channel. Yeah, we'll have... Uh, uh, we'll yeah, have... Cat, cat News. Um, so, yeah, we've got some... We've got feeding bowls, we've got cat food, we've got... What's the jingle? Right, we've cat. got... What's right. the jingle for um, Cat News? Go on. Oh, What's the good news? Meow, What's meow, the meow, 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 meow. Yes. <laughs> I knew you'd do it. I knew you'd do it. Yeah. You can't resist. You can't resist yeah. a good jingle. No, we can't. Um, <laughs> meow, yeah, meow, 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 cat news. Cat news. No, I thought it was meow, meow, We're getting meow, cats. meow, meow. Simon's cats. So, what's going on? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, cats tomorrow. Next time, episode 87 will be the first cat news. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, cool. I'm work. excited. We've got work. so long to work on the. We got so long to workshop that jingle. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's, uh, so, Trip, um, what's been going on yeah. in your oh, world? God. Um, have you got what have I been than, up to? Have you got more than that square that we can see cleaned? Yeah, the, it's not too bad at the moment. Yeah. Now it was all clean. It was clean before. I don't know. What I, I'm okay. just saying. How are you talking about uh, Hamish? <laughs> um, what have I been up to? It's been a while since we had the. Well, it's been two weeks. I went to an armory. Uh, yeah, a little, oh, wow. game, a little game called Flesh and Blood. I don't know if you've heard about it. Never heard I of it. I went to uh, Darkspit Armory and went to the pub afterwards with some of the guys. It was oh, fantastic. Stella. Um, playing Ira and CC for the first time, and it was very, very fun. Annoyingly, it is though, fun, well, not, isn't it? not annoyingly, like this is this this makes sense. A lot of some of the armories have moved over to like Blitz and Living Legend now for Skirmish Season, which makes a lot of sense because you want to get practice in before Skirmish Season, but I was kind of ready to do some cc so i might see if i can find another another mm. armory in london that's doing cc and not uh blitz or living legend but kind of makes sense in the, the lead up to skirmish season i guess but you know when you're like i'm ready to play some some cc and it's like the right the wrong time mm -hmm. uh apart especially because ira's back i was back baby she's 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 pretty fine she's pretty normal she's pretty 2-1 ish Two on it, yeah, I, pretty, I would she's agree. Two on your armory, uh, basically. Yeah. But she's so much, it's so much chilled, so chilled to play. Uh, apart from that, I've uh, been doing lots of house stuff. Um, hanging out with my sister. I got D and D coming up again. Oh, uh, this you starting a new one, or we started. A month, we play once a month. Started last month. Next session's nice. coming up this weekend, which is very exciting. I really love playing D and D in person. It is the best. Um, mm. And yeah, works busy. But I'm looking forward to the Christmas and the Christmas. Christmas are you mentioning the Christmas already? I am because I actually, I actually, I'm feeling it a bit now because I can. It's on the horizon for me now because it gets Christmassy at work pretty early on in December because we put all of the Christmas decorations up at work from the first of December. Uh, well, and yeah. I'm like starting to think, starting out those conversations like, what am I going? What are we going to do? We're going to go down. When are we going to go down? What are we going to do in the lead up to Christmas, etc., etc., etc. So for me, it's been a little bit Christmas. I'm not gonna lie. I gonna I have, have, I'm gonna say that I don't know about. I think me and Simon may be in the same work boat Christmas land because I think health and so mean. I think health and social care. Like you can tell when people work in offices, or mm. I'm not saying you know what I mean, but you, that office life, in if that makes sense, yeah. that they get this workspace made for mm. Christmas, and then there's this whole. Yeah. The, the staff do a Christmas dinner do thing. Let's do, you know, all that sort of stuff. But I maybe it is a bit different. It, like, it depends what workspace in health and social care you yeah. work in. But it really does not happen. That 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 environment and that sort of vibe. It, yeah. it definitely doesn't happen with no. our lot. And I work in a hospital discharge team. So we work from home. I, you, do you know what I mean? It's, it's very a bit secular i don't know if it's the same with you simon i i can't get it, what trip's saying and... to what, yeah so towards december like during december they might put some 
sporadic decorations up in the hospital, but it's not... I mean, most of it gets outlawed for infection control purposes, so... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they're really like stingy. We're yeah. pretty hard. We go pretty yeah. hard because we get a, a big. We got loads of Christmas trees. They put decorations up in the office. We have a like, we have like a carol service thing in the the off, on the ground floor of the office, which is like open area. So we have like okay. wow staff. Do you staff get do you get things. specified time off over Christmas? Do you get like a week off over Christmas? Or yeah, our last day is the twentieth, so twentieth December, which is the Friday, and then we basically off until the second of Jan. So we just get all the time oh, off. Over Christmas wow, free. must be nice. <laughs> I'm working. Yeah, to, I'm working right up to Christmas Eve. I've got one annual leave days booked up, and that's mm. the Friday. Does that count as a does that count as leave or anything? Though? Annual leave. No, it's, just... it's just free. We just get what? it extra on top of our oh. annual leave. And we got a part. We got the Christmas party. We have a pantomime as but well. But you have to pay for the Christmas pantomime. party. No. Oh well. We do. Work, I do have quite a nice place. To be fair, you do. Um, yeah, sounds yeah, good. It sounds sounds good. pretty yeah. good. That's what I said. Like, I don't, it's I don't weird know why. Because we. It's it, pretty. Oh, sorry. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks to be. No, 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 it's no. it's. No. Oh no! I'll be honest. I love my job. No, I, I, no, I, know. I, I, I can't I even really job. say it seriously because I know that you guys. It's enjoy just what you it's, do. it's we interesting. All, we all enjoy what because we do. I think everyone in their different roles, and I think this is an office thing. Like it's definitely not like people who work in like you know transport in the transports, like work in lorries and whatever. Yeah, you know, it's a very secular thing. They may just sort of decorate their lorries up and stuff, but when you're out and about moving a lot and admit, and i think the hospital as well they try and christmas it up but it's not your space it's a work uh, and yeah, i exactly. know you work in a workspace but do you know what i mean it's it's a public domain so you kind of you're walking into a like i think i think we've, we've also had people... have a christmasy thing up there but it doesn't feel like we're doing anything it's so low effort yeah, because they just do it for us. The people, the workplace services team, have always done it every year. So they just put the stuff up, go to the same people. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. do you have, be good. Do you have a staff? Do you have a staff do Simon? Uh, so no, I, there don't are worry. Uh, yeah, no, no. We, there are options. There are options, but they're all organised by the teams themselves, and we have to pay for it. Like yeah, the same with us. So because I work in theatres, there might be a pediatric surgery one there might be an ent surgery one there might be a spine surgery like every different team will have their own christmas do and you're not going to all of them because no no you're probably gonna no. go because oh, they're like 50 quid each aren't they they're all yeah. like a dinner yeah and then drinks yeah 50 quid i know i know trip i'm just well it I'm depends just, i just want everyone what they to do, know but... that the nhs and adult social care services in this country um you know where's your collapse right <laughs> Yeah, give me give me your claps. And I didn't even get any claps. I Pay for my any. Christmas dinner with your claps. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough of that. I know. I was just. Um, I was just we I just we are here to talk about some flesh and blood, blood. and I, I we do, have two big things to talk about. We do. We do. We have banning restricted um, conversations to go on about. And um, what was the second thing, Simon? Because that's pretty much the big thing. Right? I'll be calling Florence. Oh yes. Now. I, I, I we'll touch on the call in Florence. I don't know about you guys, but like my my sort of passion and huge vibes for um, sealed sealed for Rosetta is kind of dead. You know, the Christmas season's up. We've already. I, I always see what the next set is. I'm not doing any sealed. Or, I don't care. I, no offense. I, I'm really happy that Jacob Clemens has won. I would rather talk about that. But the actual sealed thing is a little bit like, uh, cool, cool, I guess. Do you know, I don't know. Unless you want to. Unless I mean, you guys really so want to I, dive I, in. As we've talked about before, Hamish, I quite like Limited in Rosetta. Cool. Now, I I enjoyed the pre-release for Sealed because I think Sealed is a great newbie format. You can just open some packs and put them together. And I enjoy Draft in Rosetta and I think the the intricacies of draft have developed since the set's been out mm -hmm. right yeah but it it became obvious over the weekend when the top 28 of florence that that after round seven so after day one the top 28 were 
23 Florians, mm-hmm. three Verdants, and two Asilio. Yeah, which is surprising there, no one. There was zero Aurora. Yeah, of course. Right. It's just Florian in Sealed. We all knew that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, but that's, I, yeah. It's, that's why I don't find I, any of this interesting. I just don't... I'm like, yeah, it, so what? Unless you opened a Florian pool, you were pretty shot, right? Uh, pretty much, but then they did the they, they then they did the draft, so that is slightly different. And, and then, draft in uh, yeah, the draft in Rosetta's is really good. fun. Yeah, it's good, uh, but it's um, like in my opinion, we've had worlds. Like worlds was in my sort of yeah. take is it's is it send off. Now I, I know that you should definitely still talk about drafting and sealed and all that sort of stuff if you've got a calling and event coming up. It's just not. I'm just like yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, I, it, but also, you're not you're not a limited guy anyway. Like you you no, don't prioritize limited. You should all. if you want to do well at any event. Like, I'm, I'm just talking about you personally. This, yeah, you, I, I, me personally, no. But if you need to do well at any big major event that involves a draft within that tournament, if you do not bother your ass with draft, you will suck and you will not have a good uh, day at events at all you cannot do well at anything by 06 in your draft like period you could 3-3 three, three it but all you're doing is just putting hell of a lot more pressure on your CC and it's just pressure you just don't need so I get it but I don't care because Christmas is coming and by the time Christmas <laughs> is done this this event the hunted will be out yeah exactly so yeah. I might be like yeah whatever but Jacob Clements finally the 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 dude did it he's been top eight think, in loads of callings yeah. and he it was just inevitable at this point right well he top eighted pro tour as well didn't he um yeah no did you not well I thought uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was at one he took um he took count your blessings enigma uh, an early stage to the top eight of one of these tournaments, then I think he went out in the top eight. But yeah. that is pulling out my memory bank pretty strongly. Yeah. To he was top exactly. eight. He was the first one who brought Count Your Blessings Enigma. Yeah. I and did really he, well on it. Yeah. I don't think he cracked the top eight. No, but he, winning, he a, top winning eight a, a call. Winning a calling is is okay. is, right. is much it's amazing. More impressive, right? yeah. and, um, very and also and, like the fact we had uh, four UK players, right? Uh, oh, in was, the, the yeah. top eight, that... which is insane. Also, I found it quite amusing because my pro quest uh, that I managed to go to was a draft Rosetta pro quest, and Jason yeah. and Jason Rolf and Jacob Clements were in the top eight of yeah. that pro quest, and they were in the final. Well, the, so the same pro quest. Of like, that makes me feel a bit better about my the next uh, pro quest. quest that I went to. The next pro quest. Uh, I went to, they were at, again, and they were both in the top eight, and I got beaten by Jason, and they were both in the final. Well, I think those, uh, those guys, they they put a lot of time and effort yeah. into draft because they were, rec- and I think UK players also did very well at draft. If you look at, like, yeah. Alex Kitsu, uh, he went 0-3 and then 6 at Worlds and then basically crawled his way Ran back the up table, the table yeah. by... We're knocking gonna... it out of the park with draft yeah so it's like a it's it's what hamish was just saying like it, it a lot of these uk players have recognized that draft is a big part of the flash and blood tournament scene and if you don't yeah. if you're not good at the draft then you are basically playing with a handicap right like oh, you could be time. the best dc player in the world but if you don't give time and effort into you... and also it feels like an area where you can you can really focus down the meta in draft in mm. a way that it's harder to do with CC. There's going to be less surprises. There's going to be less of like, yeah, okay, we didn't even test for this hero. We didn't test for like Kale uh, Bravo in our testing pod, but we yeah. can test for pretty much every permutation of yeah. these heroes, and we can try and solve this meta as a testing group and try and secure these these wins on our scorecard before the tournament. Well, even you got, you had, I just want to say... You had Cal, sorry, you had Cal McCreef go like undefeated with his yeah. Bravo deck and why did he not do well? Yeah. Dude sucked exactly. that bloody right. yeah. draft. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people, I mean, people obviously talk highly of Brody Spurlock and he's a really young guy and he's travelling a lot to, to play this game internationally. Mm-hmm. I think we... Which, who can... also got into the top eight of Florence? I do. Want yeah, to exactly. <laughs> um, you know, this, this um, guy is nuts. He is 
incredible player. Yeah. Um, but we've, I mean, Jacob's a young guy. He's, he's a he's a uni student, and he travels, and he grinds, and he tests, and he plays. And there aren't there aren't many places in the UK he hasn't been for a tournament at some point or another. Nice. So yeah, credit where credit where credit's due. Um, Jacob and his testing team doing a huge amount of work to get where they want to be and now he's on a calling and, and, gonna... and jason top hated the calling as well yeah so. i think yeah. jason rolf we've said i think but uh, we said on this podcast it was only a matter of time before jacob won something and yeah. i've put my my money down on jason rolf to win a nationals i i think i said it for one of the previous nationals or one of the big tournaments recently and i still think he will um yeah. his draft is very strong uh sometimes it just takes the right run as well and i think it's exactly what happened with jacob clements like we were just saying it just takes the right run i think we've yeah. got a sh- got a shout out jack raven oh, uh yeah, yeah. He's like absolute legend like i know he struggles to find the time to play occasionally um full-time job full-time dad um but no excuse jack a- raven no no excuse, no, ex- ex- <laughs> no excuses eh? right you can still go to your call maybe your one calling i don't know how many jack's done this year i wouldn't be surprised if it's only one or two if only that one taking it to top eight uh getting that pti as well just real really impressive amazing uh yeah and then francesco as well francesco Francesco, but that guy is that guy's guy's nuts I, i wouldn't be francesco is one of those guys that will win a pro tour like he mm. he's that guy that I'll go. I you can you can just see him just winning a pro tour or worlds at some point. Like it it wouldn't surprise me it, that that guy is uh, a bit of a beast. Not he consistently hitting like top thirty twos on. I don't think he did. And I mean, he's already won a calling, worlds. right? Yeah, he won a calling. I'm talking pro tour. Okay, all right. I'm talking pro yeah. tour. Yeah. So big I shout. Think... So big shout out to the two teams, uh, Team Sigil and Team Toxic. Which are pretty much the two front running uh, UK teams out there. So if you see them, uh, Team Toxic probably needs to do. Do you need to get up with your branding game? Not gonna lie, Team Sigil, A tier branding. They've got their little. Uh, they got. <laughs> they got their. Ju- they got they the jumpers. The jackets, right? They've right? got the jackets. They've got jackets. You can see them a mile off. Team Toxic, get some jackets or summit right, and then we can. Then everyone can point you out, but. It feels good, right? Like we just had Rob Catton top eighting yeah. Worlds. We just had a UK player taking down next calling. And not just the UK, we're seeing a lot of European players in the top eights. Yeah. The, obviously calling Florence, it's a UK yeah. tournament. Well, uh, UK EU yeah, tournament, yeah. right? Like you'd expect to see that sort of thing. But it's still satisfying to see UK players and EU players doing consistently well at these tournaments and really repping the, mm. the it's scene. Weird. Yeah. It's great. It's weird but it, because the only it's um when it comes to pro tours and worlds, like I'm like, come on Europe. It's regional. Like I, I go a bit mm. more regional. But when it comes to a calling, then it suddenly national. goes it's national. No, you yeah, yeah. Every other country, sorry, but uh UK first. Like do you know what I mean? Just it's like that whole football teams, you know. Sure, you could vote it, when it's England playing. We're all England, but then when it's done, Liverpool, Liverpool, <laughs> you know, it's it leading it us really. It's leading us really nicely into Pro Tour London as well, which yeah. is really satisfying. Like I think it's, I think Pro Tour London is hitting at the right time for the scene and the enthusiasm we have around the scene, mm-hmm. especially the professional scene in the UK is is very strong. We still have a a really good player base in the uk but it feels like the professional scene of the uk in particular is maturing really nicely like hamish was saying even with like team team sigil there feels to be a bit more Mm. cohesion around the uk players i think we were all people were um quite independent there was obviously testing groups and and stuff but it didn't really feel like there was a a UK team, and even when it was talked about, it was a bit more casual and a bit more independent when you compare it to something like Team Poland. Yeah. It feels like now, obviously, Team Sigil is not necessarily a UK team, though a lot of their players are UK players, but it's good to see a bit of professionalism mm. around it. I think it, it aligns well with what LSS is doing with the 
the the world tour i think it is the new thing that they announced recently about kind of like star player points that sort of thing having 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 that aspect to the game um i think it's called world tour can't quite remember what they actually yeah the world tour is the branding for all the events now um (laughs) so calling and battle hardens are all world tour events now and they have the world player of the year can i point something out go for it so we've had three callings no two callings in the uk yeah one by uk players both by uk players yeah do we hold that like the pro tour is the, like the ultimate hold isn't it like we've had our home turf home home, home turf home turf are we just destined for a uk pro tour champion because brexit means brexit mate no <laughs> Yeah, you've uh, you've mon- you've monkey pawed po- you've monkey pawed us, mate. Because oh my based- God. Brexit means now- Brexit. <laughs> because what you said oh was, "Will we do it again?" Oh Which is God. basically like, "We'll win the uh, the calling at the Pro Tour, but we won't win the Pro Tour." So uh, oh, yeah, it would be. I- I'd love it if it was like a triple whammy, like <laughs> no, like. The UK Bauer takes Harden, it all, Pro Tour, and that is and literally Bauer. it's coming home. It's coming home. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Should we talk uh, about? Should we do some ban and restricted? I think it would be good to at least touch on the it's enough to uh, uncontroversial say. points of the ban and restricted announcement. The, uh, well, okay. Yeah. Should we should we start off with something easy? Yeah. High octane. I think that's an easy yeah. one. I'm oh, still not. I'm still not sure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. We'll talk about count your blessings. All right. So count your blessings. No, I don't think any of it is easy. No, no, I feel no. like it was a really weird no. banner restricted announcement, to be honest. Okay. I think so. Well, let's that... start, let's let's focus this on count your blessings. So, go. What do you I think they made the right choice. Well, they did nothing would be the wrong choice. But no, I no, think no. That... I think I think a complete ban of the card would have been an overreaction. Mm, yeah. And doing nothing and doing Ready nothing. Yeah, okay. And doing nothing would have been um a complete underreaction. And and I think what they've done is by setting a precedent with bonds of ancestry where they can target specific colors of cards, I think they've taken out Yeah. The, but how did that uh, end up? That was what happened with Bond's ancestry. It, it just ended right. up banning all of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because I, of Zen, not because of anyone else. No, because, I, the card, um, no, because that the, card, that card was quite literally stupid on every metric. It, yeah, but I was, I, again, it, if it wasn't for no, Zen, I think the red alone no, would have been fine. No, it wouldn't have been. No, the card is not fine. Look at you, two ninja players. Just coping so hard. This card is not why, fine. Why? How? Am, no, like, hello? With, hello? 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 What red did only. I? When was, when was I saying? Right, what are trip, you saying? Anyway, trip, I'm trip. literally. I, 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 <laughs> hello? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, hello? I, I, did a, I did a big sweep of ninja players. You were just. Generalization. Yeah, you are yeah. Generalization. You are, you are collateral damage. The card is stupid. Anyway. And anyway, we're, not, that, is we're, not, we're not. We're not talking, talking about, about bonds of ancestry. That, that wasn't my point. My point, was point was they they set a precedent by by targeting specific colours that they can do that in the future, no. and they're doing it now with count your blessings. They're taking away the blue the blue card, which enables a lot of everything else. Right? Um, okay, so, and it does impact the amount of life you can gain from count your blessings i'm going to just pinch this from punkage from arsenal pass because i think uh, yeah because i couldn't be asked doing any maths so um with if you had all three you get yeah. a total of like 56 health yeah and now it drops to 30 that is a lot of that's a significant drop that off. Is a, like not like in points of value 56 points of value but now we yeah. drop it right down to thirty. Well, they've halved it by ban- by banning three cards. They've yeah. halved it. Yeah, it, I think it's like it's still going to be doing like ki- that kind of thing. It's kind of thing, but it's not going to be as 
absolutely egregious. And if anyone hasn't no. checked it out, my interview with Rob Catton, he generally actually thinks to this point, even with all that, he could have won it. Like he he figured it out halfway through the game that instead of playing the game by a turn by turn basis of like going, oh, if I just maximize my like this turn, mm. that's how we tend to think it. But he said what he really should do is actually map out the 15 to 17 turns as one big like damage yeah. counter thing. So instead of going E strike for five or for um for five go uh five draw a card, which you'd think is and it is in the turn the best mathematical value in the turn. But it overall on the bigger game of the full turn, mm. it's always better to go for seven. Because overall, you need to just get the More most numbers. Card. Yeah. yeah. And that is how he says, if I just did that every turn and started pitching away the burn-ups, which, you know, obviously that's how the game was the game. But if you just thought about it differently and just, you know, mm. then you could push it over. I mean, if you're using burn-up shock when they've got no other block cards, right? So like, Yeah, it's... it's it's just a little. It's of tricky to things. line that up, though. But you don't need yeah. to, so you don't need to go that high end now because uh, there is a lot of health value gone. I don't quite know whether it's like I don't Viable. know. But the thing is, we're in this period where I think they're going to do it. There's no, well, for for the majority of us, not everyone on this world tour thing, we're not going to really see many events we haven't got any rtns and whatnot whatnot and then hunted's going to come out there is going to be some new stuff and apparently yeah. hunted is going to target this in some capacity away so like it's kind of like the every time they do anything for christmas everyone goes eh because it's mm. you know every year everyone's always, checked out yeah. yeah we're all kind of like oh, cool i guess but I don't know, trip. So I don't like so so counter argument to Simon. Mm. I don't like it when they just ban a color of a card. I think you either ban the card or you don't ban the card. Why, trip? Because I just don't like it. Okay, cool. I, just, I don't it? think it's neat. I think it's confusing. I think it's like if the card, if there's a problematic part of the card, then the card should be, should just get it out of the game and just redesign it in the future set in a way that works. Like if you think, take Bonds of Ancestry, for example, like if you thought the Bonds was too strong, uh, but it would be okay as a majestic, you should just get rid of the card and just redesign it at state as a new card. I don't like this sort of halfway house of like, will ban colors it it's i i also don't it doesn't really matter me, to me because it only happens in living legend I, it, I for that i don't like it where they allow one copy of a card and i see see this as that extended right like when you say okay you can't have three copies you can only have one copy this is like saying well you can't have nine copies you can only have three you can only have six copies and i know it's a little bit different in flesh and blood because of blue yellow red but actually with with blessings it's closer to those cards being the same card than any other card because they you're you're essentially trying to generate enough in your grave to then to, to to work off so i don't really like that as a principle but that that's not a huge problem to me i think the thing that i i still don't get why control decks it's like oh no it's okay you can keep your car controlled that we'll print a we'll print a counter in the next set it's fine you keep doing what you're doing it'll be fine and then aggro deck, it's like, no, kill the aggro deck immediately. We're not going to wait for another set. We're not going to wait for ice. We're just going to kill you immediately. You can't have any fun. It's like, why? Why are we allowing the control deck to exist until the new set comes out? Where other in the past, as soon as an aggro deck gets really, really strong, we just immediately obliterate it. And we don't say something like, oh, we know we got Oldham come around the corner. I know this is going really far back. But you remember when like Briar was kind of nuts, right? Um, and we didn't Lightning really, Briar. yeah, and we didn't really let the meta develop with like the full old him, like uh, doing no, what it was doing. I, I, okay, I, I, and you, and similar, you run, you run, and and the same thing with Fi, where like Fi was insane, and like they were good, uh, but we didn't like let Icelander develop into the point we can like 
counteract that. And they were good bans. Like, don't get well, me wrong. Like, ban, um, they didn't ban anything from Vi. They got rid of Belittle and they oh, got rid of Minimalism. Right. No, no, that's, that's, not, a, that's, that's, card. that's a generic card. Which is still but that actually, card is oh. dumb. They did get rid of Stubbies as well, but that's generic. That's Stubbies, so. Stubbies, no, but Stubbies was, uh, was, Stubbies Stubbies was fine. And Stubbies I just was also don't... not a Fi. It's Fi's card he puts in, but it's not a ban on any of Fi's toolkit. It was just a readjustment. Of... I'm not. Who's talking about Stubbies here? I'm not talking about Stubbies. I'm just Stubbies. saying, Stubbies. nothing has been banned from Fi. Yeah, they took away their minimalism. It was basically. No, but that's a, card, generic right? card. that's a generic card. Yeah, it was down. Yeah, a, but we're not, we're not we're not talking we're not talking about count your blessings as a ban on Enigma. It's just a stupid generic. D- question who then. Is, who right. else is running Qu- blessings? Question then? for Ira. Uh, um, question no, for I'm both of you. Oh, if you're a DGen, don't run blessings right. in your Ira deck. That's just questions for both of you. Easily. Do you think that? Count your blessings. Enigma is still viable with no blue. Count your blessings. Um, because probably. that's what Trip's arguing that it's still viable. Why haven't they nerfed it? But I think they've nerfed it sufficiently that that's going to be a really difficult deck you to know, play. And, 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 I, I, I actually, I, I, to answer your question, yes, but Trip has answered some pretty answered some pretty interesting stuff. Here, I don't right? think that's quite what I said as well. I I wasn't focusing on Enigma. I. Was, I said a couple of things, right? Like, uh, there's the concept yeah. of banning a color. I think we could have a I, chat. We yeah, could have yeah, a conversation I, about I, that. I th- so here, one little thing is, is that I know that, that Count Your Blessings in terms... Of, that I look at them as three separate cards. They are three separate cards. They are very mm. similar in most properties, but in all technical fairness, it is a completely different card because the idea of a pitch is is drastically different in terms of its value and what it is presenting and in the context of so in it's it's just not the same a red count your blessings is not the same as a blue count your blessings you could it, you it could is probably, a you brand could... new card with the same name that's it so they have banned that card the other two everyone goes mm. oh, well, why don't you just do a whole cycle i'm like no they're, they're not the same card in any way or form it's just really name that is it i think i think genuinely i would have preferred them to have not banned them at all uh, uh than to just do this sort of halfway house and it, it was a really weird banned and restricted announcement like i don't think we've ever had anything like this before which was like a really like it, it like I don't want to criticize LSS, but it was almost like written as if like we're doing this because you're you really want us to, right? Like it was so like it was so like it's not a problem, guys, and we're gonna bring it back and we're printing loads of stuff that's gonna beat this. But for you, for you guys, well, okay, we'll get rid of the blue one. Just just it, it felt no, really they did, like they no, didn't. They, did say, oh, it, they said that they really no... didn't like own it. Like yeah, they did own like it. they normally do. I know. I I I think you should criticize them for lss i don't mm. think we should ever hold back and to say well maybe we shouldn't you feel that and i think that's a genuine that's a fair criticism my retort to that is yeah. that mm. i think they did explain it they just said look we're gonna pamper this now armory knights are still a thing we've just demonstrated to the world this is a very very potently strong deck you as the attacker have to formulate a very good plan to deal with mm. this if you can't, mm. you simply won't win. So what we'll do mm. is we'll give you a small adjustment until the new stuff comes out, and then we'll bring it back with when you people got more answers. Because right now, it's... you don't really have all the yeah. best answers in the will of the world. It's a really weird one because it kind of feels like they're babying us a little bit, where it's like. It, like you're saying, Hamish, like we and like Rob saying in the video, we can beat it, but it's almost like they're just like he okay, had two hours we'll, to do this. we'll make it we'll make it a little bit easier for you guys by getting rid of the the yeah. blues. But, yeah, so you no, don't have to, and it's like that's it's kind of interesting. Night. No, but it's an armory night. You don't you don't. Want I to don't go... think LSS have ever done that before. Like I don't think they've ever done bans and restricted yeah. from that angle before. I think they have unless you unless like what do you think is like an equivalent ban that they've done where they've basically said we don't think this is a problem awesome's we want touch. there to we want there to be decks like this awesome's touch yeah mm, they just that's probably the closest yeah they? they just went there's nothing wrong with this but this is just mm. pushing this too much 
So we're just going to hamper this. I know it's a, in its different context. It's all different mm, storyline. It's a little bit different. No, but it's it's, a little bit different. it is a little bit different. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 I appreciate that. Way it's but I, I see it. what you're doing. I see what you got, get. Where you're getting at, Hamish? Because on its own, Autumn's Touch Red is a innocuous card. Yeah. And then, like again, if you took any of the colors of of Count Your Blessings, they're an innocuous card. But you put them all together, and it makes something bigger. And, and not just that, you put fun. them in the shell. You yeah, you put them in the shell of Enigma, and it makes it boring. Yeah, like, and I think all they're just saying is going. Um, yeah, this card has actually got like some bigger thing going on that it could actually be genuinely pretty interesting for control decks because. And then when you were talking about that whole point trip around, um, they they just ruin the fun and just like windmill slam aggro decks out of there, mm. but control mm. decks they don't because I think. I what will ha what can happen with control decks is that they do which we said in the last episode they do give us this opening and opportunity to see two players really hone their craft of generating a strategic plan to deal with this but two aggro decks it really is the most boring thing on human earth as much as mm. watching two enigma decks just go i heal i heal two i heal i heal oh, it, and it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's they're as they're as boring as each other but, which is why it's but the interesting the, but the the strategy that they take but, i think it's more about the balance and how it's much simpler for lss as a company to craft an aggro deck it's a lot harder for any company any trading card company to craft a good control deck that's fun to play and f fun to play against i think you know i could i could i could build you a degenerate aggro deck i could design yeah, you a degenerate aggro hero easy. in an afternoon yeah right? that, that's my but point it, that's my point everyone yeah that's, take, i'm, a, I'm, but, a, I'm yeah, agreeing with you yeah yeah, yeah. everyone can take the aggro decks and everyone's just taking it we're just watching um seven turn games and it, it's just there's no, there's no talk about the second half of your deck. It's only really the top half of your deck that mm. really counts. But when it gets to these slower games, they actually do for like which come on to Yarl at some point maybe mm. in this episode. But that they create this space that actually just turns around and goes, you don't just get this for seven turns. But if we're met, but if the meta is just forcing like masses amounts of people to say this is the best strategy we there is there's no point trying to make anything slowing everything down it isn't great it's not that fun mm. and but, but it's why... no fun either way is it right no like, so i think you, just... you need you need a counter a foil and a counterfoil you need the aggro and the control in the same meta to make uh, it, it almost to make the deck building varied yeah. Because you you need to, you need to have a plan and a sideboard, and you need to include different cards for different like, as you say, if you've got hyper aggro against hyper aggro, you don't see blocking, you don't see um, second cycles, you don't see as much planning. You are literally, as you said earlier, Hamish, planning turn by turn. How much damage can I extract from these cards? Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're playing as an aggro or a mid-range deck against a control or another mid-range deck, you're actually thinking four or five turns ahead. Like, how am I going to maximize? Oh, it's it, it's no. quite interesting, isn't it? How the way we describe hyper aggro matchups where you've got, like, say, like, Fi back in the Fi days or Lightning Briar back in the, the, those days and not blocking. Essentially, those two players aren't playing against each other. No. They're just playing their. They're playing turn. a board state. And, yeah, yeah. And well, it's, exa it's... it's exactly the same. Well, it's not exactly the no, same, but it's, it's very not. similar. <laughs> it's not. It's very no, no, but it's very similar to what count full count your blessings is doing, which is essentially saying my life total is ninety four or whatever it is. Kill me, right? That and you're playing your game and they're playing their game. Hello. And I think what LSS want is to have in and it's part of their design is to have interactive games. They don't want players not looking at their opponent and just playing their four or five card hands every turn. And they don't want someone sitting down and saying, My life title is this, I can block twelve per turn, kill me. Like they want play patterns and interactivity between the players. Now I think that's quite interesting. Like I think LSS have fully admitted that 
this Enigma deck came too early in their design cycle. Like they, well, they are designed happy it with this. And printed it. Yeah, so... I know, I know, and that's <laughs> okay. not that's no player's fault. That's no player's fault, no. by the way. Um, but essentially, they're saying we want a deck like this to exist yeah. next yeah. year when we've printed some tools. We thought Poison the Well might be good enough, not good enough. So we're going to print some stuff. And then it can come back, and I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, poison the um, well. Poison the well is so snag. Not, it's such yeah. a. It is, I such, such a snag it. card. It's such a, snag. Yeah, what a card! But everyone somewhere went, "Whoa, snag you, chain!" Like, no, you're not. Like, let's be real. It's not happening. Out of, out of interest, to wrap this conversation. Oh up, yeah, we got. Which, it's just a quick question. Which do you think would have been a worse ban for Enigma? So, which would affect the deck more, red blessing or blue blessing? Uh, blue. I think blue. blue would be the, the no because this is just just to not like you said just to kind of wrap this up is it's not just Enigma mm. that we've also got Count Your Blessings new which is mm. quite insane and Michael Hamilton doing the Michael Hamilton showing up with something that is like oh my god we should have all thought of this this is mm. kind of stupid and it does some mean 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 very mean stuff and lo and behold and i think lss did a very good job picking the blue his two mystic heroes blue counts blues are yeah, good cards i, was thinking, uh, yeah, I don't think it's necessarily worse than red but it's interesting that they got rid of the blue and it's, I think a that's really, of, really smart. it's a lot of like, implications it pitches mm. for blue and then some of the maddest stuff you could do is just go i pitch this blue count your blessings potentially to yeah. count your blessings tunic count your blessings that value is Billy yeah, and the reds, reds can get stuck in your hand, right? Like if you have to block and then the last card left is a red rather than a blue. There's there's a lot of interesting things yeah, that go into I thought, I thought into it was a good band. Cool. I thought it was a good band. Yeah. High Octane. I think that's um I think that one's pro that one's really easy. And I know no, people, it's not No, it is. God, it, the card was dumb, everyone. Look, let me just sit it, down. It, it everyone, was, just look it, at me. Sit down. Let me tell you my story of Skill Eater. Okay, now I know you're going to turn around and say, hey, but Hamish, it's not the same thing. It killed my boy. Anyway, they brought him back and it will and it will happen to you too. Okay. Skeleta is no way the same level as High Octane. I know. I'm just saying. By the way, people from people who haven't been around in the past, don't be fooled by this man being like, oh, it's the oh, okay. same. You know, if they turn around and ban Mordred Tide, I think that. Yeah, is, that would be pretty that, nice. That would Mordred, be... Tide, Mordred Tide, honestly, no. that, is, that is the level totally of fine. High Octane. <laughs> Mordred Tide. It's, it's is, close. It's that, close. It's not, we're talking about, it's not even we're close. We're talking about. It isn't. It's, it's pretty not, similar. It's not even it's close. A majestic, it's a majestic. It's not even Arcane. close. It's not even close. You know what? If High Octane didn't draw you a bloody card, I think we'd be. Uh, no. I think we'd still no. be cooking. You no know? trip. No. I think we'd be cooking every time. No. It is. Cra it is crazy that it draws a card though. Like when you crazy. actually when you when you look at it and you're like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> why does it draw a card <laughs> I, i've <laughs> like, always said that i've always said it this replaces about itself <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because, like, because the card really was struggling no the, let's, However, let's, be, let's be real let's be real arsenal pass did bring this up yes i'd say this card is insane it is insane is it that bad blah 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 it's affected max i get it the real problem was um cerebellum processor we are oh, yeah. all fully aware mm. that Dash IO can still do what it needs to do. No, it, it's not. Uh, it, it, it it can, but it's not the. It, come on, it's not high octane. It's not the. Sa I didn't say it was the same. I'm just saying, Cerebellum processor was a mistake. It, oh, it was a mistake. Spicy. No, no, I think it was. I, th I think it was a mistake. I don't. I think that, and and I think LSS kind of maybe knows this a little bit. I I think they really, really, really should never have put this in an armory deck because they are now strangled by the decision making process if this was just an expansion card in rosetta you know that that probably would be a bit more addressable but they can't do anything about this this so they can't I, 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 ban I think a it's card okay. in a cc armory deck they can't I ban think any of this okay. stuff I think it's okay. I think no, I think sometimes okay. we look at these cards and we're like, "This is so in insane." And it, yeah, 
That's that's trading card games, baby. Like we no, but it's their philosophy. What, they, what they, do you, they just threw like, out the, they threw the book. What, what do you what do you want what do you want people to do? Do you want people like you no, need I know exciting, what they need to do. You need, need exciting card. You, yeah, exactly. Right. That, that, this, no, is what, this is what I'm getting around to. Right. Is like we get we get hyper fixated on these cards and we look at something like that and we're like, damn, that is so that's too strong. Right. It's like yeah, it's the it's the game we print insane yeah. cards because yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a game we need to sell boxes was, we need to what was the point? Hype people no, up they no, need to dude, have insane terms dude, they, I, no, I, no, if you, if you with... listen to me i'm not disagreeing with you no, i'm just saying for, uh, yeah that they there are two stuff, but they had a they change ha- in their philosophy they, they had to ban high octane because they made the mistake of printing cerebellum and now cerebellum's not a mistake anymore because they did the difficult thing no, which was the ban high is, octane it is still a mistake and they killed max no it's not a mistake it like what do you want mistake what now. do you want the game to be do you want it just be ira mirrors all day because i'm happy to do that because i'm happy to do that because i can just do that all day long true, we can, because we can... I, I i never even said that you're the you're the one that's thrown out and you're uh, the one's like no nah, it, it's no you're saying it. no oh it's too difficult oh it's too good oh no what do hey, i Mish, do this is more do, how do you see more how do you see guy cerebellum this guy, processor this guy. <laughs> destroying the game oh. with no yeah. look well I, I don't know if you know about this but cerebrum okay, just, processor actually um, shot shot me in the foot um actually actually killed my dog uh and uh i'm pretty against this car i wouldn't so. be surprised trip right i'm just yeah, saying yeah, i wouldn't he, be surprised um, yeah he he punched me in the back of the head it was uh it was pretty brutal pretty yeah and brutal. he got away with it too because of this sim- and he'll uh, never be back no, no, he's, he's, he, he's got he's got so. plot armor <laughs> <laughs> guess i die <laughs> guess i die all right okay no it's fine easy like, we gotta have some fun stuff we should have some fun Why stuff you just, game, uh, can i explain my point every now and then you yeah want to absolutely go ahead right, thank like. you simon right so the reason why i think this card is a problem it wasn't a problem until they turned around and said we're going to address and this whole philosophy about how many cards people can draw la, la, yeah. la, 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 la. okay cool uh we're all on board Thank you, LSS. We get it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> it's like, what the hell is this? This is just like not, it's it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing, but it, it you, you're flowing too close to the sun and you've given it plot armor. And then someone goes, hey, uh, I'll, I'll just go nuts with this card. And you go, yeah, okay, cool. Well, we can't get rid of the card, so I guess we're going to have to kill ah. its cousin. Okay. Yeah. And then they'll just octane. poor high octane, and then Max is going. What about me? Sorry, plot armor. You got to, you got to wait for bright it's... lights too, baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait for bright lights too, and then whenever they design Max, any... Max octane, so, Max in. octane. So whenever. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good card. I mean, that works really well. Max, Max, oh, yeah. No, but when they print, so so they, honestly, this card yeah. is going to turn around and go, well, we really wanted to do this cool thing, but uh-oh, plot That's, armor card is so, just so, sitting around. Siren, what do you, what do you think? Because we, me and Hamish are just saying the same thing over no, and over. Uh, no, you're saying I'm wrong. I, and you say, you yeah, are so right. I was saying wrong. I was all right. Let's see what Simon was saying. Without high octane, cerebellum process is not a problem. Okay, I don't because, think, because no. you need the action points, right? You need the action points. Yeah, because action points is uh, gonna is a huge problem for Mac. Nah, I I do think it, it is it, when the card doesn't have a go again on it. Mm. Mm. I, th- I think it, I think there'll be other ways. Zero with, cost of, crank. Uh, mm. Draw a cut. Mm. Yeah, in dash IO. Right. So Max Max is like gone. Okay, so. We're just gonna. There's some really cool stuff. Dash IE is not that. doing it. We could do some really cool stuff with action cards, uh, with action point stuff, which we're manipulating that in some form. Why? Hey, oh, no, you can't. This card. I think you're forgetting an important point that uh, Dash IO has only got 36 health. So, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I. So sorry, your point is uh, invalid. You got me. Uh, boy. You got me. Uh, I, <laughs> Do you know what? I think it's good to. I think it's I good. Guess, to I guess I win. Debate on this point. Yeah, no, you're right. Look look at this. Look at this cerebellum processor lobbyist. (laughs) It's all in good. It's all in good fun. But like, I think. I think. Can I make a serious? I also cerebellum processor means cerebellum processor. (laughs) 
I think we need a bit of time. I think we just need a bit of time to, to see how it shakes see out. how it shakes out. Yeah, like it's yeah. so early. We've we've not even really had a tournament. High, it, yeah. high so. octane was it, high octane <laughs> is uh, like the EU, and Sam Brown processor is like Brexit. We've lost. Good what is this take? I don't what is know. This take? I, we've, we've lost. We've lost. We've lost good things. <laughs> So much you was imagine? lost Could to you keep imagine Sarah Bell and Processor. <laughs> If LSS turned around and was like, yeah, I'm banning I'm banning high octane in the UK. <laughs> you they, can't they, have they, it anymore. They no, start doing nationality-based ban. No, they, if they're going to do... Does that, wait, does that mean you can't use it in events in the UK? Or if yeah, you're a yeah, player? yeah, you can use it if you're a no, they, non-UK player. They, they, non -UK should, they should definitely <laughs> address this by saying... We are banning pummels from the UK. You guys do not know what you're doing. <laughs> you forgot how <laughs> they want to use the power. <laughs> you do not understand this card. How pummel With work. great power comes great responsibility. How pummel works. Okay, I think we've just... I th so far, I don't think we've come to the consensus of is high octane bang good, bad? I uh, can, I, can I just say... Can I just say... I think the bands. I think the bands are fine. Yeah, totally the bands are. Yeah, the bands are always fine. fine. Yeah, they always he, he are. Cares. Yeah, poor, I just, unless you're a Max I, player, that poor Max player is going. This 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 channel does. They're not waiting care. for Max Octane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, this I, channel I, does not just, care we, for me. <laughs> Let's, I just want to play the game LSS want me to play. Yeah. I don't you know if they if they ban Ira, <laughs> I'd be annoyed. But no, I think I, you'll it, leave. It's flesh and blood. No, I'm, I'll, I'll just play what they. I think I'll be more leave. or less excited. Well, I, I, you know, like I, I'll, I'll play more sealed. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if they banned Iron, but like I'm, oh. I'm happy to play whatever game LSS puts down on the table. You know what I mean? Like it, we can, we'll, we'll, we'll have our back and forth. But mm. ultimately, those guys have got the data. They know what the next two, three sets are going to be. They they seem to they know, know what they're, they're doing. Do. They know what they're doing, yeah. right? No, they, I'm sure. They, they've read some weird stuff in the past, but oh, they, hey, I, oh, they I, did. Honestly, honestly, stuff like Dustblade, stuff like Cerebellum, Bellum Processor, stuff Ball, like... uh, OG Ball Lightning, OG Briar, it just makes Flesh and Blood an exciting yeah. game. Just like Skilly, just like Skilly, <laughs> you, you oh, just, like, pan, yeah. just like Starbucks. The... No, just like Awake <laughs> Awakening. Yeah, what's awake. the next oh crazy? God. What's the next crazy yeah. thing you that know, LSS has been? Do you, know, yeah. do you know that I watched that um, We Make Best on, like when they tried to yeah. determine the most powerful card in, like, in terms of just its like value in some way, blah blah blah. They they, and it, they got rid of the like equipment and some, you know, they they did a few things. And oh my god, Awakening is like oh, by far and away the most powerful card. It is the it's not. Do you know the distance of the second best is like not even? It's I think it was like a like a points value of like twenty six point three, and then the really? next powerfulest card was nine. Like it's not it's, even. Uh, now, when you actually saw that card, pretty good. They know what they're doing. Yeah, because they banned it. Yeah, they know what they do. No, they, they knew what they're doing. They commissioned. The, I hope, they, they commissioned I hope, that I... art, and they put those rules down they printed it and put it out there with starvo <laughs> i opened like and said everfest seven, seven this is oh, i've got loads of awakening seven yeah. copies of that car oh my i tell you what like, if you actually amazing. look through and then they banned it guys you need to just crack open everfest like if you're a single seller just crack everfest open because some of the stuff in there is it's mental out outrageous it is outrageous and they are rocking up set. now in this set and they're just still just hamming on people. tails as well honestly there's some i was gonna say some, tails some crazy stuff in tails, um, yeah, tails was pretty is, crazy yeah, tails, tails is tails is a thing so you know, but that was are. the peak of like the power wasn't it the peak Polar of the power bars. cards i have to say well. i've been drinking this wingman and i've been like i think i've been i think we've all been pretty critical and defending at the same time we just, it's uh, called debate. Yeah, we're having fun. Debate. It's nice to have a. It's nice to have a little. Um, oh yeah, little, I, I, I little like chat. it. Tri trip, trip, trip. Just low stakes chat. Yeah, low stakes. There's uh, nothing will change. I've enjoyed none of, it. None of it a lot. None of it matters. 
I don't even remember anything I said in the last 20 minutes. No. Um, He's gone into work mode, into filibuster mode. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep talking, <laughs> don't pause. Yeah, yeah, that is the trip way. Right, we're going to leave it there, everyone. I hope That's you the best way this. to win an argument, everybody, is to just never stop talking and then you'll never be able to be never. Uh, you know, interrupted and they'll never be able... And if they talk over you, you just keep talking and then whoever stops talking first... Losers. Losers. Um, oh, God, we're doing it thank you for time. joining us on uh, Push the Point. What are we on? 86? 85? 86. I think we've moved over. Yeah, no. This went on so long. We're Count on your blessings that we've got to episode. We're on 87. 86. How long? No. How long? We, how many 86. minutes are we at? Right, one hour and ten. And we're going to find oh, oh, Bye bye. Bye. Love bye. you. Bye. bye.